Hey guys, welcome to the Steam Room. Today, what we're gonna be talking about is another variation of 3D printing, but a more hands-on tool that will help you better understand how the printer works, 3D pen. Imagine being able to draw anything you want in midair, from a house, a cube, a butterfly, to even some glasses. With a 3D pen, this is all possible. But before we get into actually making something with this pen, let's understand the Steam connections behind it. First, science. This machine is heating up plastic to its melting point which then cools down until it solidifies. Technology. This pen itself is a mini extrusion tool. It's like holding a handheld 3D printer. Engineering. You need to think structurally. Will your creation stand up? Will it bend or collapse? Art. You're designing shapes, objects, patterns, and sculptures with personal flair. Math. You're using symmetry, geometry, and spatial planning when building your model. This tool is a perfect example of all five pillars of steam working together. First thing you wanna do is plug it in. Most 3D pens have an indicator light on the side of the, print of the pen that lets you know when it's good to go. As soon as you plug it in, it'll have a yellow light that's in the idle, idle mode. Once you press this button, the forward button, there's a reverse and a forward button, as well as a, a speed dial. What you wanna do is to preheat the machine, Press it solely one time until a red indicator pops up. After that red indicator pops up, you're gonna have to wait a minute or two for the pen to get up, get to the right heat, right heat temperature. 180 to 210 degrees Celsius, depending on the filament. You can use PLA or ABS. The next thing you wanna do is load your filament. In order to load your filament, what you're going to do is press the reverse button one time to retract whatever filament is in here currently. And then to simply reinsert new filament, you're gonna press the forward button and feed the filament through this end of the machine. And the pen will pull the filament until the melted plastic starts to flow out the tip. Next, test the flow. Before starting and your, and your actual design, Test the flow on a silicone mat or a canvas that will be given to you. If it's coming out, if it's coming out smoothly, you're good to go. Next, you want to draw your base on a flat surface. You can use a sketch or a pencil to sketch out your idea beforehand so you have an idea of what you want to design or draw. But making sure that you start flat is ideal because then you, you're able to build off of it more efficient. Once your base hardens, then you can start building upward. You're gonna hold each piece until it cools down to build onto the next layer. You wanna combine and connect parts. Since this is melted plastic, it's easier for it to attach onto something that is already heated and has the same temperature. So if you have one cube, you put another cube next to each other and we'll slowly start building either a house, whatever it allows. Just a few safety reminders going forward. This right here is very hot. Be very mindful not to touch it because it will burn you. And we want to stay away from any injuries as much as possible, just like a glue gun. Keep your fingers clear and use the silicone mat when provided. Remember to turn it off when not in use. Some awesome things you can make with your 3D pens are keychains, sculptures, cool art pieces, small prototypes for names or inventions, and you can also make different tiny trinkets to go on your desk or to decorate your room, all up to you. Now, for today's challenge, I challenge you to build a cube, a small cube. The 3D pen is a perfect blend of creativity and engineering. With just a few lines of filament, you can turn an idea into something real and physical. Whether you're adding texture to a laser cut piece or building your own mini sculpture, the 3D pen invites you to experiment, fail, fix, and build again. So next time you're in the steam room, grab a pen, load it up, and start sketching in thin air. Your imagination is the only limit. See you guys in the next one.